So when you get 1000 in shiny score and you can unlock the groove, you also can unlock metallic. So let's go in here and see if we can do that now. I don't know if I have enough stones, that's a good question. But over here you can see metallic. So in the beginning here, when it is um, at... Uh, zero percent you uh, have no pr no chance to get metallic that's why you can't get metallic before you have unlocked roof right but now i have i think i have enough stones to upgrade it once so i can buy it once so and i can't buy it more now when i buy it once and i don't have any other upgrade for metallic uh, for that now it's this one is helping on metallic if i also go on the tree you see it down here i have 1.0 now so right so if I get one of my first metallic, this is gonna go, get up to 1.1. So uh, this is at uh, 1 in 10 million. So that means average is that I got one metallic in every 10 million egg. That means I'm not gonna get one on the egg number 10 million. You can get one in the first egg and you can get one in egg number 60 million or 70 million. It is all up to luck. So we have to work with this luck. And again, this is the formula. I'm gonna keep the metallic at the cost up here is going to be two times the qualification and 20 times the generation speed so that means that this one needs to be upgraded first i will upgrade it until it has two times more than the qualification speed when i have it and then i'm going to keep upgrade these three in this formula way okay but also inside of here we have another upgrade as well we have this one called polishing thing metal so what is polishing metal polishing metal means that a metallic pets gets a damage multiplier based on your number of shiny skins for the type pet and uh, uh, type pet you have. So that means you get times one plus shiny skins divided one one here. If I take up number two here, let's look in one that I have a lot of shiny skins on. Let's say we get a blood shi uh, shire bat. I have four shiny skins on it. Okay, so that means the damage that it's gonna have is gonna be. Uh, the, the damage you have times 1.004 because 4 divided 1000 is 1.004 so when I get 1000 skin I'm gonna have 2 times the damage when I get 2000 skins I'm gonna have 3 times the damage that then it has as, as a base so basically metallics doesn't have any limit on how much damage they can have so there is no point having this before you have one metallic, but immediately you get your first metallic, I would use 75 stones on this. Okay, but this, there's more to this as well. So we need now to go to another cave, and we're gonna talk about that re really soon here. We just need to get into it, we just need to get through this wall here, and we're gonna go to this exotic score cave, because that is also with metallic. So basically in here, metallic is quite important. We now already know that rare earth and prosperous ground you already want to have because that is really going to how much exotic score you have. But the thing is that you also have two other upgrades here. One is exotic crystal promotion chance, which this one is uh, actually change, uh, making so that one, when you first get one, uh, you have this one, uh, the chance for getting one crystal to get in when you break one crystal here there is like a chance um, chance for you to get the exotic crystal instead that is decided by this exotic crystal and also by this uh, exotic crystal score that you have here and you can also upgrade it is maximum three percent on this one but also you can also increase that later on I'm gonna show how but when you have first have got one and uh, and so on but this one, you can get it to get one high tier higher because there is a tier rank on this crystal. You see, you well, get one point, five point, you get ten point, you get uh, uh, twenty-five point, seventy-five point, and hundred point for the highest one. So this one is increasing tier. But there is no point. This is on your paths, not on other paths. This is for the crystal that you break. So basically, there's no point having this before you have a really good metallic team. So this is late game upgrade. Okay, so that will help for that. Then later on, you have Magnetosphere. When you have a really great score team, and let's say you have like 100 in metallic score, it's, it's, that is about the point when you really need this one. Because uh, then you're gonna get a be even better chance of getting a crus uh, exotic crystal spawned when you have. This one is adding to the percentage that you have here. 
So th these two is the no point to get them at this point. You have to wait to way later on. So I hope that is giving a little bit more example about how to get metallics. And the last factor that is really affecting metallic, we're gonna just say that really quickly here. It is the uh, how fast you can uh, hatch eggs. And that's two point, two things. One thing is this one here, hatch normal eggs. You need to have this on 5%, so you can hatch normal eggs really fast. That's gonna, it's not gonna increase the chance of getting a metallic, but because you're hatching much more eggs, at the same time, you have much bigger chance to get a metallic because of that. And also, as Rilo Rupert said here, this is where the generation station is really coming into the picture. <clears throat> if you get this up to 5 eggs per second, in addition to 500% over there, you can hatch tremendous of egg. And also, it doesn't help to have it high, but you need to have, you have to hatch egg that is corresponding so that you can constantly hatch all the time. That is when you are maximum increasing the chance of getting a metallic. So you need to hatch tremendous amount of egg at the same time increasing your chance of getting a metallic. So that's everything about how to get metallics. But also doing all of this will increase your chance of getting shiny skins as well.